What's up guys, it's Carly with Fast Native English where if you are finally ready to take your English to another level and to begin speaking English like a native English speaker, then you've come to the right place. So, let's get into it. All right guys, so today's idiom is on the same page. Again, that is on the same page. Page. And this just means to be in agreement or understanding with. And it's usually when you have two or more people. I mean, you obviously have to have two or more people to be on the same page with someone, to be in agreement or to understand someone. So when you're on the same page with someone, it just means that you and the other person agree or maybe you both have the full understanding that you need to have in order to maybe complete a task something like that so an example of this funny example of this is when i first met my now husband at first we were just like friends and we were hanging out and he knew that i was recently divorced and i knew that he was just out having the time of his life, you know, no worries because he didn't have a girlfriend and he was just, you know, living his best life. He was working, hanging out with friends, playing video games whenever he had the chance to like, you know, just being a normal 20 something year old man. And for me, I was just not really looking for anyone. I didn't really want a relationship because I had just gotten out of a relationship, but I did like the idea of having someone there to like talk to and hang out with and I don't know, flirt every now and then. <laughs> so I didn't really want to date, but I definitely wanted to like have a guy friend that I could talk to or hang out with every now and then. And he quickly became that guy friend for me. And we were both on the same page because he didn't want to have a girlfriend and I didn't want to have a boyfriend. Boy! Yeah! Girls! And we literally had this conversation after a couple months of hanging out. We were like, okay, well, I don't want to have a girlfriend. And he, and I was like, well, that's good because I don't want to have a boyfriend. And we had this conversation and we were like, okay, good. Glad we're on the same page. We can still be friends. But obviously we had that conversation for a reason, right? Yeah, the reason was we were kind of developing feelings for each other. He was starting to like me. I was starting to like him. And even though we had this agreement, that we didn't want to date anybody i was like mm -mm, no i don't want to i don't want to deal with men anymore and he was like i don't feel like having a girlfriend because girls can be crazy at times and i was like i know i'm i'm one of them so we were just on the same page that we weren't ready to date anyone it wasn't that time in our lives yet and we were just going to be bffs but fast forward like a month or so after we had that conversation and i was like nope i'm in love with this man <laughs> I I can't do this much longer. I know we agreed not to date, but I need to at least tell him how I feel. So I did. I, I know I was the first person. I, I couldn't keep it inside anymore. I went on. I told him how I felt. And I was basically, I was kind of mean because I was like, if you don't feel the same way about me, then you need to go. But no, not really. I was just like, I don't think we could be friends much longer. Like if you don't feel the same way about me because like it kind of hurts my feelings. And he was like, well, I do feel the same way about you, but I still want to like be able to play my video games and hang out with my own friends. Like he had this like preconceived notion in his, in his mind that being with a girl or being in a relationship or having a girlfriend would basically make him where only his girlfriend mattered in his life and he couldn't do anything else which actually a lot of people do that so that's probably why he thought about that a lot of people i know when they get a boyfriend or when they get a girlfriend they forget about everyone else and it's just them and their boyfriend or their girlfriend and they're you know oh living their little best life and then once they break up then they want to be friends with you again not cool Name. don't do that people don't be that person so he kind of thought hey i want i kind of like like you too and i kind of want to be your, your boyfriend i want you to be my girlfriend but at the same time i don't want to stop hanging out with my friends i don't want to you know have to drop everything that i'm doing and like just be with you 24 7 and i'm like boy what you talking about what you talking about 
I don't want to be with you 24 seven either. Like I have my friends, I have my own life. I'm busy. I work. I'm a mom. Like, I don't want to be with you right now. I don't want to, I don't want to be with you all the time. So we made an agreement again that we would start dating. Um, and we were on the same page once more that he's able to do whatever he wants to do, except for Friday nights and Saturday. Those were my time. He would hang out with me on Friday nights after work. And then on Saturday, we would spend time together. And that was my agreement with him too. I'm able to do whatever I want, hang out with my friends, work. I don't want to work, but I have to, um, you know, do whatever. As long as I save time for him at least once a week, which was like Friday evenings or Saturdays. So we were both on the same page once more. But yeah, it was a funny story because we ended up dating and now we're married and we have a kid and we live in this life together. But when we first started hanging out, we were like, ew, no, I don't want to date. Like not ew to the person. Like obviously we're like, we were attracted to each other cause that's how we ended up dating. But at the beginning we were just like, the thought of dating someone was just so mm -mm, not cool for us that we just were on the same page that, hey, we are not going to date. We're just going to be friends and that's going to be that. Here we are married living our lives together. That's just goes to show that sometimes whatever you plan, your plan doesn't work out. Sometimes God has another plan for you all. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learning the idiom on the same page. If you like this video, please hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and I hope to see you all in the next video.